The slowdown on the economy has many struggling to make ends meet. And for some families, that means sacrificing the education plans they had for their children. Jen Beniza explains. Last school year, roughly 15% of school age students attended private school. This year, that number is likely to go down as families deal with the pandemic and the financial fallout of COVID-19. In general, COVID has thrown a big wrench into everybody, everyone's situation. As many families struggle to make ends meet and keep a roof over their heads, shelling out thousands for a private school tuition simply isn't possible. Damien Memorial's new head of schools, Dr. Kyle Adebay, says some families can't afford it anymore. Enrollment last year was at 690. So far, they're at 647 for the upcoming school year. Our enrollment numbers, although down, are not as as low as we thought it was going to, as we were originally preparing for. Damien's tuition sits at just over $12,000. Last year, roughly 60% were on financial aid, a number surely to increase this year. Even for a school with a cost several thousand dollars under the average of private school in Honolulu. In a letter to parents, Mid-Pacific Institute says, during this time of constant change, we know that Mid-Pacific is not immune to the effects of COVID-19. That's why we've been diligently working to adjust to the reality that our middle and high school enrollment will be slightly smaller in the coming years. Punahou School, the largest private school in the state, has increased funds for financial aid to keep their enrollment stable. So in a normal year, uh, Punahou has been allocating about $8 million uh, in support of financial aid, uh, and about 20% of our students receive aid. Uh, this year, we have budgeted uh, up to a 50% increase in financial aid. So we've actually budgeted out to $12 million uh, in addition financial aid. Latham says Punahou has an average of 3,750 students each year. Their current numbers are just shy of that. Jen Boniza, K2 News, working for Hawaii.